Hello, hello. Hello, Miss Ale. Hello, Ricardo. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Edgardo, Sophie, Jesse, Emerson, thank you very much for being on time. Thank you too. <laughs> and today is Friday, guys. Finally, it is Friday. To review some very interesting topics today, guys. Allow me one moment. I want to share the screen with you. Here we go. Mientras esperamos a que se unen los demás, we are going to review our calendar. Okay. Excellent. Now, I also sent this over to WhatsApp. I don't know if you guys received it. I received it. In, UK, in my case, I received it. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know, Jesse. Perfect. Okay. Love to hear that. So we are right now uh, almost finished with the simple past statements and questions using be, using the verb to be, which we were reviewing yesterday. And today we will review how to say statements and questions using used to, which oh, is the past yeah. as well. Vamos a ver siempre el pasado, pero using used to instead of the verb to be. But before we can do that, we are just going to wait a few more minutes to see how many people are able to join today. I understand that it is Friday, so maybe not as many people are going to join the class today, but that's okay. I understand that we have many things to do on the weekend. So right now we are nine people taking me into account. We are nine people. We have Sofia, Jessica, Claribel, Edgardo, Emerson, Catherine, Katia, and Saul. Perfect. Awesome. So we're just going to wait for a couple more minutes. Okay, no problem. Excellent. Now, we are going to review statements with used to today. Excellent. And we are 11 people right now, guys. So I think it is safe to begin our class right now. Let's see who joined. Ariel joined, excellent. Who else joined? Let's see. So Sofia, Ariel, Claribel, Lester, Ricardo, Hi, Emerson. Hi. Hi Lester, how are you? Very well. Awesome, you? love to hear that. I'm very well too, thank you for asking. It is Friday, guys. It is Friday. So we are going to keep this class short, sweet, entertaining, cool, fresh. Um, what else? I don't know. Uh, so that we learn as much as possible. And that you then, after we've done that, you can go ahead and enjoy your weekend. It is very important that you have time off, that you have time to rest and have fun. It is healthy. It is good. So, guys. It's good for drinking chocolate more later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is good. Hot chocolate and watch some movies or uh, different topics or documentaries, something like yes. that, or go out with the family. Uh, to see the light, Chris Merry Christmas. Oh, yes, the Christmas lights. I love the Christmas lights. I want to go to... Yeah, I want to go. I, I haven't been able to go, 
but I do want to go. I, I've heard it's uh, really nice that they decorated it uh, just as if it was a normal Christmas. I, I really want to go. I'm kind of afraid of going because it's like the mask thing and I feel like not everyone's going to be wearing a mask and I don't want to get sick, but I don't know. I really want to go. So guys, yesterday we finished off by looking at this diagram with this, um, this whiteboard. We were reviewing how to make questions and statements using did and using um, uh, and, and how to make questions and what the formula was, right? Did you know English back then? And when we were saying the statement, I didn't know English back then. Cambiábamos el orden, the did and the subject. Now we were seeing that for the negative past, we are always going to use didn't. And for positive statements, usamos the verbs in the past or did. Now, now that we know that guys, we also need to know Oh, we were also reviewing when to use was and where. Y veíamos que eran muy pocas las situaciones en que íbamos a usar was and where. Pero una pregunta muy importante en la que lo vamos a usar es where were you born? I was born in El Salvador. Now, let's learn how to answer yes or no questions. Veámoslo aquí. Si alguien nos pregunta, where are you born? In El Salvador. Nosotros debemos poder contestarle, yes, I was born in El Salvador. O si no son del Salvador, no, I was born in Now, when we are talking about cities and countries, si hablamos de países o ciudades, usamos siempre in. Cuando hablamos de fechas, places, cuando hablamos de fechas, usamos siempre on. De tal manera que si yo quiero decir que I was born in El Salvador, in San Salvador, San Salvador, on February 14th. La fecha de mi cumpleaños, right? On February 14th. On July 1st, on December 31, 31st, I'm sorry. Um, y así, eso siempre lo vamos a usar así. Esa es la manera en que vamos a responder. Yes, I was born in El Salvador, or no, I was born in somewhere somewhere else or no i wasn't yes podemos dar la respuesta negativa no i was born in nicaragua for example or no i wasn't si no queremos dar más detalles no i wasn't see ¿Sí? is that clear guys Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. yes, teacher. Awesome. Tenemos alguna duda que nos haya quedado yesterday sobre making questions using did, using was, where, or how to uh, use the past. Vieron que también les mandé una list of regular and irregular verbs. Bueno, era solo de irregular verbs, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I see. I saw. I saw. I saw. Excellent. Now you can review that list um, in the image, and I also sent you a link. También les envío un link donde you can review mm, a lot more verbs. Están 
almost all of the irregular verbs. And I mean, you're not going to learn them by memory, but it is good practice to know it. Now, guys, Odyssey, does anyone have any questions about the past using the verbs in the past, using did, didn't, or um, was or where? Not teacher. I think that anyone has now. Perfect. Our question right now. Maybe it's easy for others. Perfect. That's excellent. That's perfect. If you if you feel that it's easy, that's perfect. I'm glad. Me alegra de que se comprenda. I don't know. <laughs> that's okay. Solo vamos a hacer una última aclaración, guys. Si la pregunta me la están realizando con was or where. For example, where are you born in Nicaragua? Si la pregunta lleva was or where, mi respuesta debe llevar was or where. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Si la pregunta me la están realizando con did. Good night. Hi, good night, good night. Marina. How are you? Si la pregunta me la están realizando con did. Did you buy a cake for your birthday? Mi respuesta tiene que ir usando did o didn't. Usando ese verbo. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Si yo quiero, puedo especificar, especificar, right? Yes, I did. I bought a chocolate cake. I'm sorry, esto es un punto. I bought a chocolate cake. Oh no, I didn't. I don't like cake, right? Si quiero, me puedo extender más. Si quiero lo puedo dejar ahí, pero lo importante, lo que quiero que veamos es que si la pregunta estamos, nos la están haciendo con did, yo debo responder con did o si es negativa, con didn't. Si la pregunta es con was o where, debo responder con el correspondiente. Si es con where, con where. Y si es con was, was she um, born in the U.S.? No, she was born in Colombia. Yeah. What she was. Was she? Yes, she was. Or no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was born in Colombia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, she was born in the US. Yes, guys, is that clear? Are we good to go? Now, guys, at this point, you should be able to ask about something that has happened in the past. Un buen ejercicio que yo les puedo recomendar que you can do on your own by yourselves is planning your day or talking to yourself, hablar con ustedes mismos en inglés sobre lo que han hecho en el día. Cuando ya se vayan a acostar, for example, you're laying down, you're about to sleep, y van a hacer un recap de lo que han hecho ese día. Okay, so today, para practicar el pasado, today I woke up, me desperté, I woke up, at, les voy a decir como que yo me lo estuviera diciendo a mí, mi día, right? Today, I woke up at 6 a.m. I, uh, I got a shower. I then um, brushed my hair. 
And did I have breakfast? What did I have for breakfast? No me acuerdo qué desayuné. ¿Qué desayuné? What did I have for breakfast? Oh, I had a protein shake and some fruit. And then I started to work at 8 a.m. Comencé a trabajar a las 8 de la mañana. I started to work at 8 a.m. And I had my first break at... At what time did I have my break? ¿A qué hora tuve mi break? At what time did I have my break? Oh, I had my break at 10 a.m. And then I had lunch at 12 p.m. And then I got out of work at 5 p.m. And after I got out of work, I took a nap. una siesta. I took a nap for about half an hour. And then I started planning my English classes. Después me puse a planificar. Y este es un ejercicio que ustedes pueden hacer sobre su día. Hablar sobre su día en el pasado, que hicieron para practicar los irregular verbs, regular verbs, did, didn't, eat, etc., etc. Y en general practicar el uso de todo esto. Yes, okay, thank you. I will appreciate it. I will try it. Excelente. Teacher. Yes. Eh, verdad que en la mayoría de palabras eh, no todas se pronuncian como se escriben. No, unfortunately not. Desafortunadamente no. Unfortunately es una, un buen ejemplo de eso. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Pronuncia unfortunately. Netly, something like that, unfortunately. ¿Y, ¿Y habrá algún método para el cual aprenderse este, la nope. pronunciación? Nope. Y para saber, va, porque eh, usted ahorita me está explicando cómo se dice unfortunately, va, pero yo, yo, si usted no lo dice, yo no lo sabía. Que así se pronuncia. Yeah, I wish. Quisiera decirles como con los regular and irregular verbs que there's this magic, here's the magic formula, guys. Here, mm -hmm. take it. Then you can learn Ooh, it. Take it and hey, put it into your brains. Now you know it, but there's not. Can I say something? Yeah. Can I say something? Uh, for example, in my case, I always try to speak with myself and watching on YouTube and English Russian. English Russia is about channel only pronunciation. It's Perfect. good for yeah. the channel. You can find Russia, English Russia. Es un canal, algo así. Yeah, el canal Yo, is uh, Rachel, right? Oh, yeah, Rachel English. Yes. Yeah, she's really good. Um, it's really good for pronunciation. That's a really good thing to do. Um, si sí, lo que quieren es aprender like pronunciation. Um, pronunciation y al mismo tiempo ubicar las palabras textuales, lo que yo les puedo recomendar es que vean películas o videos en inglés con los subtítulos en inglés. Así mm. ustedes van leyendo, ven la palabra y van escuchando cómo se dice. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And reading. The reading. And reading. And reading. Yes. <laughs> reading porque you will go read and you will be, you'll be like oh my god how do you pronounce this right and you look for it y al buscarlo lo, se van a enterar um, there are very complicated words in English that make no sense for example esta palabra alguien sabe cómo se pronuncia esta palabra sí. mm -hmm. quién da más quién da más quién da más <laughs> Q and Q. Mm -hmm. como, 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 como? Quiet. Q and Q. Mm -hmm. Estamos llegando. Q. Q. That's correct. Q. This word Q. is pronounced Q. Q. <laughs> Makes no sense. What is it? I wish there was like this magic trick that Q. here it is. Take it, take it. Here's how you learn. And you put it into your bed. There is not. There is not a pura prueba y error. I'm so sorry. What does, what does mean to you? 
oh, Q is on a line. For example, uh, you go to the bank and you have cola. to wait in the queue, in la cola, in la línea. Ah. You have to wait in the queue. So, oh, yeah. otro ejemplo. Um, uh, this is mostly when there is a number, right? When you are numbered, cuando hay un número que te dan. Um, when you are waiting, cuando llaman a Tigo, when you call Tigo uh, y te ponen en espera, and you have to wait, you are waiting in queue para pasar con mm -hmm. alguien. En el super, you are waiting in line, right? Eso sí es en la expresión, you are waiting in the line of the supermarket. Pero cuando te dan un número, casi siempre se llama queue. You are waiting in the queue. Teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, y, y si uno pone... Digamos, si uno pone una película en inglés o... No. Ajá, si uno, no. Si uno pone una película en español y los subtítulos en inglés o viceversa, no ayuda en nada. ¿Cómo no? Yeah, I can... Um, veámoslo así. Uh, that would be beginner level. Eso sería nivel principiante. Like beginner. Beginner... Um, eh, Spanish with English subs o viceversa, right? En, en inglés con subtítulos en español. ¿Cómo será mejor? Yo diría, uh, es, es un ejercicio completamente diferente. Um, van al, es, es bueno de ambas maneras, poniendo la película en español y subtítulos en inglés, van a lograr identificar van a pensar al contrario right? van a ir viendo y van a se van a dar cuenta más que todo de cómo cambia el orden de las oraciones en inglés que uh -huh. hablan un poco al revésado right? al poner la película en inglés y los subtítulos en español más que todo van a lograr agarrar vocabulario cumple dos funciones diferentes y si ponen la película ya vamos nivel 2 Uh, como llamamos um, like intermediate level uh, intermediate así intermediate level llamamos movie in English with English subs con los subtítulos en inglés right y ya el nivel avanzado advanced <laughs> ya le vamos a quitar los subtítulos. English, just English, sin subs. Yo me acuerdo cuando yo estaba aprendiendo, yo decía, oh my God, no, no es posible verla sin subtítulos. No, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what they're saying. I feel like they, they're talking in Chinese. Hablan demasiado rápido, están hablando en chino, están hablando en todo menos en inglés. But I didn't understand. But you will. I promise you. Y va a llegar un momento, y se van a dar cuenta cuando ese momento haya llegado, cuando ustedes solitos se van a dar cuenta, van a estar viendo la película y van a decir, hey, no estoy leyendo los subtítulos. I'm not reading the subtitles. What's happening? Es muy difícil. I wish. You will see. You will do it. You will do it. Y se acordarán de mí. You will do it. Van a estar viendo la película y hasta comiendo van a estar porque se les van a olvidar que están los subtítulos. Y después va a llegar el día que les van a hacer estorbo. <laughs> you will see, se acordarán de mí. You will see, you will see. La teacher me dijo que I could do it and I can do it. And you will do it. So, if you can do this exercise, this is really good as well. Eh, ¿cómo, se, ¿Cómo se pronuncia advanced teacher? Advanced. Advanced. Yeah, advanced. 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 And then this is intermediate. Intermediate. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, guys. All right. So we are in right in the middle of the class right now. So before we get into any more exercises, I want us to go ahead and see um, and learn about further in the past. Nos vamos a meter más allá en el pasado. We now learned how to say things that happened in the past, in the immediate past, in el pasado inmediato, right? 
uh, I bought a book. Me compré un libro. Chivo. All right. Now we are going to learn how to say things that you used to do in the past. Que ustedes solían hacer en el pasado. Que ya no hacen. Lo solían hacer por un tiempo. Pero ya no lo hacen más. But it is further in the past. Right? You used to do it. But you don't do it anymore. For example. I used to. Or you don't do it. Or you are not it anymore. For example. I used to have long hair. Mm. I used to, um, let's see, I used to spend a lot of money um, going out to eat before the pandemic. I used to... I used to go to the university. <laughs> I used to go meet. Too. I used to go to the university and I miss going. Um, I love going to class, guys. I will never, y así se los digo, I will never stop going to the university. Voy a sacar el PhD, voy a sacar el master's, voy a sacar, no sé qué voy a seguir sacando, pero yo con canas voy a seguir yendo a la U. I will never stop studying. Así se los digo, se acordarán. Um, is so great to learn knowledge. Not only is it a tool, así como el inglés, el conocimiento no es solo una herramienta, también es luz. If you go to another country where they don't speak your language, knowing English, que es el lenguaje más, uh, pues, que es mundialmente hablado, right? No solo les va a permitir entender, pero los puede sacar de mil situaciones. No saben, sino cómo van a llegar a donde están quedándose. Cómo van a, si, si well, hopefully not, esperemos que no, pero si les sucede algo y necesitan ir al hospital. So, not only is it a tool, no solo es una herramienta, but it is also a light. It allows you to go through the world. And that can be English, that can be, I don't know, Maybe anything that you learned. Todo en esta vida sirve. So maybe if you learned, um, I don't know, how to do carpentry. Como hacer carpintería. ¿Quién quita? Who, who says that um, you're going to get a job as a carpenter in Europe? And now you know English. You know carpentry. And now you're going off to live in, I don't know, Scotland. Being a carpenter. Todo en la vida sirve. All right. Oh, sí, guys. Ya me extendí mucho. Let's learn <laughs> how to talk about used to. Here we go. Now, used to refers to something that you regularly did, used to do in the past, but you don't do it anymore. I used to be very messy. But now I'm very neat. Solía ser muy desordenado, pero ahora soy muy ordenado. Did you use to collect things? Yes, I used to collect comic books. No, I didn't use to collect anything. But now I collect art. What sports did you use to play? I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis. ¿Cuáles son las dos maneras que vemos aquí, guys? We can use used to. Con el pasado. I used to. Y cuando hacemos una pregunta, usamos did you use to. ¿Por qué? Porque use es un verbo. Y did ya está conjugado. Y cuando un verbo ya está conjugado, el otro. Va al infinitivo. Pasa al infinitivo. Oh, correcto. Excellent. I've seen the light. So, I used to play basketball. Play, see? But now I go to the gym. True story. Now I go to the gym. Esta es una historia real. Mainly porque me lo regalan en el trabajo. I go, but, um, but now I go. 
I used to be lazy, but now I go to the gym. So used to is for something that you did in the past, but now you don't do it anymore, or you do something different. Ya no se hace ahora en el presente, o ahora hacemos algo diferente. Cuando hacemos una pregunta, entonces el use va en presente porque aquí ya está conjugado. Va en infinitivo porque aquí ya está conjugado. Did you use to play basketball, me decían. And we can answer. Yes. I used to, I used I, to play basketball. I used to play basketball. But... Ajá. Y podemos decir, but now I play, what, soccer. Right? O si vamos a responder con no, no. I didn't use to play basketball. I always played soccer. Si no queremos dar más detalles, then we can also just say, yes, I used to. Hasta ahí. Oh, no, I didn't used to. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't used to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I say, uh, yeah. for example, when I was a child, I used uh -huh. to eat candies, but yes. now I don't. Excellent. Perfect. Love that. Excellent example. When I was a kid, I used to eat candies, but now I don't. Si queremos dar más detalles de por qué, podemos. We can, okay. pero si no queremos dar más detalles, then we can just leave it there, right? En la vida real, we hold conversations in different ways. Como les dije al comienzo, cuando nos estábamos conociendo, pues en la vida real nadie les va a decir, listening one, exercise three, right? Conversations are not perfect. No son perfectos. And that okay. means that you don't have to be perfect either. No tienen que decirlo todo perfecto o textbook. Pueden dar las respuestas tal cual lo quisieran decir en español. Um, si alguien les pregunta, uh, did you used to go to the gym? Le están diciendo, ¿y qué onda? Ve ahí este, me ve gorda, ¿ok? Y entonces, so, <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't. Si nos cayó mal, entonces le decimos, no, I didn't. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? No tenemos que dar la gran... No, I didn't used to. I never went to the gym. No necesariamente. Si nosotros queremos, estamos con un amigo. No, I didn't used to go to the gym. I've always uh, danced to do exercise. Siempre he bailado para hacer ejercicio. Si queremos, right? No sé si me, me explico, right? Ah, uh, teacher. En interviews, eh, yes. Ah, I'm sorry. No, en in interview we need to explain more, I think. Yeah, if you're in an interview. Or, or only can say, I didn't use to. Oh, I didn't. It's no. Uh, yeah, depends rule. on what you want. Depends on what oh, you want. Okay. Si estamos en una entrevista, claro, estamos dando información de nosotros mismos, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the, um, the recruiter, así se llama el reclutador, lo vamos a poner aquí. The recruiter. Oh. El reclutador. The recruiter may ask, um, what are you used to do for work? ¿A qué estás acostumbrado a hacer de trabajo? Mm -hmm. Es otra manera de usar used to. What are you used to do? ¿A qué estás acostumbrado a hacer? What are you used to do? ¿Qué estás acostumbrado a hacer? I'm used to working. I'm used to work. Uh, pero mostly I'm used to working eight till five. Estoy acostumbrada a trabajar de las ocho a las cinco. I'm used to working eight till five. 
right? Es otra manera de usar used to. Perdón, ¿alguien más me iba a hacer otra pregunta? Eh, yo, Ticho. Yeah. Es, es que so, cuando uno no quiere dar un mayor detalle, ¿verdad? Es como eh, cuando en el español, por decirlo así, este, somos cortantes. Uh -huh. Así viene siendo esto, ¿verdad? Sí, no necesariamente cortante, pero sí que no creen, pues quizás no le queremos contar right, a esa persona. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, we are not um, obliged. No estamos obligados. We are not obliged, forced um, to give an explanation solo porque estamos hablando en otro idioma, right? Eso es lo que creo que es súper importante que comprendamos. Uh -huh. Es otro idioma, but you are still you. You still have your personality, your likes, dislikes. So you can be you. Y es la mejor manera de aprender el idioma. Siendo ustedes mismos. Con otras palabras. In a different language. I hope, teacher. One day I, can, I will speak very well like you. You will. You will. I know that you will. I have zero doubts that everyone in this class will be, if you want to teach, you'll be able to teach by the time you graduate. I would like to, I would like to be working as a traductor. Ah, translator. Translator, but people speaking Spanish, I would like to translate in English or the English to, from English to Spanish. But I, I, yeah, I worked as an interpreter for a, for a while and it's, wow. it's, it's fun. Uh, it can be stressful though. Uh, I, I used to work as an interpreter for doctors, lawyers, and customer service people. So people like um, from enterprises like Claro, not, not, not Claro, right? But like from the United States. Uh, they would call and I would pick up the call and I would have to translate for them, for the Spanish speaking person, para la persona que habla español, mm -hmm. lo que la persona en inglés me decía, yo se lo decía, ella me decía en español, yo se lo decía en inglés a la señorita de atención al cliente, right? Or uh, in appointments with doctors, el doctor me decía en inglés, which were the most complicated ones because of... ¿Y cómo se aprenden esas herramientas? <laughs> Porque yo sí fui a training para eso, honestly. Por más que todo por lo médico, porque it's a very um, delicate. For example, uno, uno no se puede equivocar con las enfermedades. Cuando alguien tiene fibromyalgia, si tienen fibromagia, si tienen CO, hay muchas enfermedades que le dicen abreviaciones COPD. Esto es cáncer de pulmón. Um, sometimes they have Crohn's disease. Esto es una enfermedad. Y había que aprenderse cuáles son las enfermedades, right? Para nosotros saber well, de qué estábamos hablando. You are fantastic. And your career is like a doctor, no? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm studying public relations, actually. Oh. <laughs> Very I'm different. Just, yeah, yeah. I'm just... um. I'm fanatical about knowledge. I love learning about everything. So anything that I can wow. put my head into, uh, I will. Uh, but if you like, if you'd like to be a translator, I can hook you up with some people. You can continue learning and maybe we can talk later about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> of course. Uh, everything is possible, guys. English opens doors. It's not going to close any doors for you. No van a perder nada por aprenderlo, pero tienen mucho que ganar. Now, when using used to, you can use it for all of the pronouns, right? We can use it for I used to, she used to, we used to, and they used to. Y como pueden ver, se mantiene igual para todos. That doesn't change because it is an auxiliary verb. 
es un verbo auxiliar para nosotros. Like did. The same thing. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que con used to estamos hablando de algo que hacíamos regularmente en el pasado. Ya no hacemos. For example, uh, let's see, Catherine, what is something that you did as a kid that you don't do anymore? I used to love ride a bike. Love riding a bike. Perfect. I used to love riding a bike. Uh, you don't anymore? No, I don't even have one. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. But I still uh, love, it. love it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get Catherine a bike so she continues riding. <laughs> For Christmas. Yes. Awesome. Now, let's see. For example, Lester, what is something that you used to do as a kid? When I uh, when I was a kid, I used to escape from the school. <laughs> really? Yes, with my friends, we wow. we was going to the movie theater. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Oh my God! And did your parents know about that? Did they ever find out? Uh, no. Well, well, uh, I wow. tell them in, in Christmas, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I was uh, very grown, grown up. I understand. Yeah, when they can do anything about it anymore, right? <laughs> yes, I, I confess. Yeah. yeah, I did that with um, my tattoos. Um, I do have some tattoos, which <laughs> I don't recommend anyone. Um doing that without I mean I was a kid back then I don't recommend anyone si alguien tiene hijos o sobrinos denles la confianza de contarles las cosas because I got it to do when I was in school I was in school why did I get it to do I was in school um and I hit it right Les <laughs> and then I told my parents until I was in university and Oh my God, it was not a big deal, right? Because so many years had passed by um, and now I have more and it's like fine. But um, yeah, what, why do we do that? ¿Por qué hacemos eso de, 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 de bichitos? What happens to us? Why do we hide things? Oh my God. Imagine <laughs> que nos pudo haber pasado. Something could have happened to you and your parents wouldn't even know where you were. Oh my God. Yes, I, I think about that, but yeah. uh, I don't know we, when when we are kids. Uh, yeah, we don't we think don't about that, about, right? We, we don't care about of life. We only want to have yeah. fun and, and fun, <laughs> only fun. We don't think. <laughs> yeah, we don't think, right? When we're kids, like something could have happened to me. Like it shouldn't even be legal to get to it as a kid why did I do that oh my god uh, but thank god that we are alive and well and here in class ma making better choices <laughs> let's see we are alive and talking the story right now yeah <laughs> telling the story. story telling the story now let's see Joel what is something that you used to do as a kid When I was here, I used to play marble, ah. uh, and and I used to fly kites too. Oh, uh, fly kites! I that's so fun. I think kids don't play marble anymore, right? No. My no. sister doesn't play marble. She's very little. Um, she's like my half sister, so she's very young. She's like ten. Uh, and she doesn't play marble anymore. Wow. And not, it, they don't fly kites either. I remember that on, um, that my parents took me to fly kites uh, to the cemetery. Fueron alguna vez fly kites to the cemetery. Um, Was I the only yeah. weird kid that <laughs> they took to the cemetery yeah. to fly kites? 
Oh my god. There, there are a lot of I parks in, in the Salvador for this that <laughs> oh you don't god. need to go to a cemetery for that. Yeah, I um, I never even thought about it until I said it and it sounded so weird. Like why did they take me to the cemetery? Oh my god. Uh I uh I feel bad now. All right. Let's see, Sophia, Sophie. Hi. Hi, Sophie. What did you used to do as a kid that you don't do anymore? I <laughs> uh, Using. Um, I use it um, anymore in 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 collection the the uh, books. Okay, you used to collect books. Yes, I understand. Sophia used to collect books. Awesome, that's a great thing to collect. And a story, psychologists and Christians. Um, um, uh, um, um, uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And psychology and, and Christian, 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 the Christian story, story, oh, Christian stories, Christian stories. Yeah, I understand. Oh, my aunt does that, she has uh -huh. like. 1,000 Christian stories. I like read. I like it read. You like um, to read? Yes. You like reading the Bible and everything? Yes. Yes. It has some very good lessons. The Bible has some really good lessons. I am not particularly um, religious of like any particular religion, but the Bible has some really good lessons that you can learn from. It is a very good um, lesson. Now, let's see. Let's see, Katya. What did you used to do as a kid that you don't do anymore? I remember that I used to run before I take a shower. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, you used to what? I used to run before I take a shower. Ah, before taking a shower? Wow, yes. that's healthy. Because I think that running made me hot. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. That's a good habit though. I don't I don't think I could get up, like I could wake up and be like, put on my shoes and be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run. No. <laughs> Does someone do that? Alguien se levanta a correr en la mañana. No, right. I, I, I thinking about it, but I don't really. Yeah, do right, right, right. I've, I've thought about it too, but I don't think <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do it. My mom oh. used to do it. Yeah, Every she day. did. Wow, that's amazing. I don't. No, that's a superpower. That's I go to the gym and all, but. No, that's uh, no, no, no. That's another level of healthy. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> now let's see. Let's see, Claribel. Hi. Hi, Claribel. How are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. And what is something you used to do that you don't do anymore? Okay, uh, when I was a kid, I used to play Pokemon oh. in my brother's Game Boy, but uh, I don't because <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have a console. Oh, a console, <laughs> yes. Okay, console. Because <laughs> I don't have a console. Excellent. Now, guys, remember, esto es muy importante. 
I used to play Pokemon. Love Pokemon, by the way. Great game. Uh, in my yeah, brother's yeah. Game Boy. But I don't anymore. Remember, siempre debemos decir, but I don't anymore. Para indicar que ya no lo hacemos más. But I don't anymore. Y en este caso, Claribel nos explicó por qué, right? Because she doesn't have a console. Because I don't have a console. Now, guys, si yo, esto, todo esto lo hemos hecho hablando sobre nosotros mismos. But, a ver, let's see, veamos si puedo. Después lo voy a quitar, ¿ok? Um, si yo puedo hablar también sobre lo que otra persona solía hacer. For example, yo puedo decir, Claribel used to play Pokemon in her brother's Game Boy. ¿Por qué her? Porque es el hermano de ella, right? No mine. So, in her brother's Game Boy. But she doesn't anymore because or because she doesn't have a console. Yeah? Vamos a borrar este aquí. Y vamos a pasar este para aquí. Claribel used to play Pokemon in her brother's Game Boy, but she doesn't anymore because she doesn't have a console. O si queremos verlo solo para el ejemplo de used to, Claribel used to play Pokemon. Yeah? So we can talk about other pronouns as well. No solo para mí mismo. We can also talk about um, other people. For example, they. They used to be very close. Solían ser muy cercanos. They used to be very close. Close, I'm sorry. But, um, but they, but um, one of them moved but one of them moved, se mudaron, right? But one of them moved, right? Using they. If we are talking about Claribel, Claribel is a woman, a girl, a lady. So it's she, right? Son esas cosas que ya debemos de tener en cuenta. Now we don't assume anyone's gender, right? In today's society, but... Um, Yeah, let's just assume for this exercise. ¿Qué otro ejemplo podemos poner? Veamos la whiteboard. If I'm talking about um, the example that uh, 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 that Joel gave us, Joel said that he used to play marble. Yeah? We can also say that we used to go to the park, but it got closed. Pero lo cerraron, right? Cerraron el park. We used to go to the park, but it got closed. So we don't do it anymore. Algo que hacíamos regularmente, pero ya no hacemos. I use... What is marble? Marble. Uh, ay, la... Jugar, aquí le decimos chivola, jugar chivola, but marble is, um, what's the name? Canica, what's the canica. Name? Canica, yes, canica. That's a marble, the little oh. ball. I still have my marbles from when I was a kid. Um, what else? Let's see, I, oh, uh, ¿quién me dijo que su mamá iba a correr? Catherine, was it you? Yeah. Yeah, so... Catherine's mom, podemos hablar de una tercera persona también. Catherine's mom used to run every morning, but she doesn't anymore. Or does she? Still? No. Oh, okay. But she doesn't anymore. No. Catherine's mom used to run every morning, but she doesn't anymore. ¿Quién es Catherine's mom? She, right? Aunque estemos hablando de la tercera persona, Catherine's mom is still a lady. So, it's she. So, she used to run every morning. And that's why we say, but she doesn't anymore. 
Yeah. Now we can also make questions using used to. Questions. And when we make a question, just with uh, uh, just like with um, the past, así como con el pasado, using did, tenemos que cambiar el orden. Y vamos a usar did. Once again, vamos a usar did. Así que nos queda siempre esa semillita in our brains that always when making questions, we use did. Siempre al hacer preguntas, usamos did. Pero no en rosado. Oh, my God. Did you use to go to the park? Y podemos contestar. Ahí cambia use. Sin... That's correct. Mm -hmm. Vamos a marcar qué es lo que cam cambiamos. Use. ¿Por qué decimos use? Porque ya está conjugado. En pasado. Correct. Did. En pasado. Y siempre. Did antes del sujeto. Did you? Did she? Did I? ¿Ya? Yeah. Y podemos contestar positive or negative, right? Depending on our answer. Yes. I, I used to. I used to. Go to the park. Podemos contestar también, yes, I did. O solo, yes, I used to. También nos podemos extender y podemos decirle, yes, I used to go to the park, but I don't anymore. Right? Y si lo vamos a decir de, eh, que no, no, I didn't use to. No, I didn't. No, I didn't use to go. Oh, hasta ahí, I didn't use to go. I, uh, no, este, este todavía no, no lo hemos visto. I don't like the park. Right. Nuevamente, dependiendo del nivel de detalle que querramos dar y dependiendo de la respuesta que querramos usar. Yes, I used to go to the park. Yeah, I did. Yes, I used to. No, I didn't used to. No, I didn't. No, I didn't used to go. I don't like the park. Ya damos lo más detalle, right? But all of these are correct. Todas estas son correctas. Respuestas correctas hay muchas. Depende de cómo querramos sonar o qué tanto detalle querramos dar. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Se ha comprendido the questions, guys? Yes. 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 Awesome. yes awesome. No se preocupen que on next class, porque ya se nos acabó la hora, se nos fue súper rápido. Uh, on next class, what we are going to do is we are going to practice some exercises in groups to reinforce what we've learned. Para reforzar lo que hemos aprendido. As always, esta clase ya va a estar subida este mismo día más noche, porque la tengo que preparar. Um, we will do an exercise to check that we know how to do it. Para que veamos que podemos hacerlo. I know you guys can do it. I trust you. Así que on Monday, we will do uh, some exercises in groups to practice. Uh, and so that we can be all set with this version of the past and move on to the next topic. Yeah? Yeah. What Excellent. day? Yes. On Monday. Today's Friday. See you Monday. Okay. Right. See you on Monday, okay, guys. Okay. Enjoy your Bye. weekend, okay? Bye. Have fun. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good